What's up guys, my name is Jellico5 and welcome back to the episode of the Player Career Mode. Before we get into things, it'd be much appreciated if you're able to smash that like button down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, we're on the road to a thousand. I appreciate all your support currently, but if you haven't already done so, please smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video. And in terms of all my socials, all linked down below so you can keep up to date with everything going on with the channel. We start off today's episode with a massive game against Real Madrid away from home at the Santiago Bernabeu, massive game for us, our Clasico on the horizon, obviously they got the better of us in the cup competitions and it was a draw last time out at home, we're looking to be able to see if we can better that though and let's see if we can get all three points away from home against the Giants that are Real Madrid. Looking at what we need to complete for the odd match objectives, just awaiting to see what we need to do. We needed 7.5 rating, need a 55% team possession rate and two shots on target. It's going to be hard to be able to do so, but I reckon we will be able to get ourselves over the line and get these three points. 35 minutes into the first half, it's been very poor the first half. All passing, no shots, no whatsoever. Looking to be able to create our first opportunity in on goal. And it's definitely something that we did not expect to be able to start off with our first clip of this particular game because we have managed to found the back of the net in the first half and we are in front in the derby it's been a very poor derby in all honesty probably the worst that I've played in so far nothing created by either side it's kind of a game of chess one makes one move and one makes another really hard to get by anyone but we've been able to create one opportunity and we've taken it really perfectly they're beating Thibaut Courtois into the top corner and it's Barcelona 1 Real Madrid 0 Carlo Angelotti not looking very happy with his side there as he shouts out in anger as we can Continue on in the first half. Berardi picks it up in the middle of the park, finding Goretzka. Barcelona finding some ribbon to themselves now as we look to be able to continue on. Goretzka looking to pull it through the middle, but he stops in his tracks. He's still in the ball, though, as he finds Gundogan. Now on the left-hand side is ourselves, but a poor challenge was being made, and he will be penalised, and it is a yellow card then, and it's for that man, Aranu Martinez, as he does get a yellow card. Half-time in this particular game at the Santiago Bernabeu. 6.9 rating, 55% being completed, and only one shot on target. A lot to still do in this tie, though, that is for sure, as we continue on into the second half we go and it, again it was the same as the first half nothing really created that is for sure and it's been very very poor but Real Madrid looking to see if they can get their first shot of the game you heard me right first shot of the game still not completed for Real Madrid it's been so poor for them and in all honesty it's been such a bore to play in but we're going to continue on as Vinny Jr picks it up on the right hand side looking to create something here as he pushes on here looking to create it from Bellingham Bellingham now to Lukaku holds it nicely in the box but Cancelo makes an interception now Vinny Jr picks it up really getting pushed out here, a lot of pressure by Coinde as it falls out to Robinson, Bellingham on the ball now, looking to get the ball into the box, it's Luka Modric and the shot just strays wide but that is their first shot on the goal itself, not even on target, just on the net really poor from Real Madrid, it's been so so slow in this game, but we do get a goal kick then, De Stegen looks to play it short out to his teammate there and Doggy as he picks it up on the left hand side, Ferran Torres is there also as he looks to be able to complete some sort of run for himself but he has to go backwards to Araujo now to Goretzka, back to Araujo now on to Coinde into the middle to De Jong now we're shifting it nicely, looking to be able to create something as a hand is being raised on the right hand side, but we have to go back to Kuunde then to go forward. Into the middle it goes to Goretzka as he charges forward, then travelling nicely onto Gundogan. Now on the left hand side is Fran Torres. First touch pass onto Brady. Lovely bit of passing this is. Now on Doggy picks it up. It's a lovely bit of passing. We try and get past the defender, we can't. Stopped in our tracks, but it is going to be a free kick. Referee was not happy with that particular foul, and it will be a free kick, and we are the free kick taker. And this is a very good opportunity to get something from this particular free kick. Very close in at the same time. Hard angle and it is a very big goalkeeper to beat with being Thibaut Courtois but we have got this chance so a big chance at that as the lines are being drawn for the referees we await to take the free kick. A lot of anticipation is waiting as we look to be able to align ourselves in the best opportunity to be able to get this particular goal. We've got 89 free kick accuracy. Can we put this to the test? Can we get the goal? The shot is being taken and it rattles off the bar, out of the bar, onto the box there as you can see as Edda Militao looks to be able to pick it up and run with it straight away as Real Madrid look to be able to go on the counter-attack themselves but they do have to go back Barcelona allow themselves enough numbers to be able to defend this particular attack as we continue on 88th minute being played Martinez picks it up so he looks to be able to offload it to his team at Lukaku can't get through a row Joe, but Lukaku's still on the ball now intercepted as we look to go on the attack ourselves looking to go into the gap here as Jao Cancelio makes a decent run on the right hand side he's being played in we look to follow that up as he back heels it onto ourselves lovely play onto Fran Torres he charges forward now Fran Torres is in on goal he squares it to Berardi now ourselves but 
Courtois collects and it will be finishing. Real Madrid 1-0, Barcelona 1. Only the first goal that could deter anything in this particular side as that first half finish was being able to kind of get that victory and get all three points. A very poor derby, a very quiet one at the same time, but we would definitely take it because it's three points in the El Clasico and it's another three points in the title charge. We are very, very close now and it is only games away before we are able to complete it. We've got a 7.6 rating in the end though. We played 91 minutes. We got one goal with only one shot on target. I don't think that's bad with a 50% conversion rate then. Very good in that first particular game as we continue on then looking at what we completed in terms of the objectives and it was only the rating that were to be but is a massive victory and as you can see by the dressing room scenes this means a lot to the players. So we will continue on and we need to fight in the next game for the potential winning of the Liga. As I mentioned previously, in that particular fixture, we are very, very close to be able to clinch the title. And all it's needed is three points against Girona in our next La Liga fixture. And if that were to be the case, we will be crowned La Liga champions with many games spare. Five games to spare, in fact. Big, big ties for Barcelona. And let's get straight into the fixture and see if we can do it then. Huge game for Barcelona this and probably the biggest of the season in honesty. We don't need to do it on this exact time now but it'd be very nice to be able to wrap up this trophy nice and quickly and it allows the pressure off of us that is for sure. Looking at what we need to complete in terms of your match objectives we need a 7.5 rating. We need two passes in the opponent's half and 55% in the possession rate. Let's not waste any time and let's get straight into things. A lot of tension in the ground, a lot of nervous paces, that is for sure, but we'll continue on and we'll hope to battle through that. But 14th minute into the game, Girona looked to be able to great sang here on the right-hand side. The Ukrainian Tanogsov there finds Herrera, a lovely bit of one-twos being completed as they look to be able to go off the pitch here and do something for themselves here. Cavaliera picks it up as he looks to be able to see if he can battle with Ndoggy, looks to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe here and Girona are bringing the game to us as Herrera picks it up. A lovely bit of passing on the outside of the area, a real good chance there, but Gundogan makes a very good interception, finding and Doggy on the left hand side as he looks to be able to create something for himself here and Doggy striding into the box as he looks to be able to offload it to a teammate literally there's no options but he has to find Gundogan and he does Gundogan in the middle of the park then looking to be able to evaluate his situation but it seems to be we're being pressed very quickly and it's really hard to get the ball out of our own area and being able to complete any sort of passes in this particular tie then as Gundogan picks up finding De Jong now onto Berardi now the play's moving now we get going as we stride forward then travelling with the ball as we look to be able to offload it to a teammate lovely pass onto Ferran Torres he puts it on to Berardi, Berardi to Goretzka and Goretzka finds the back of the net and as it stands Barcelona will be crowned champions of the Liga, it is Barcelona 1 Girona 0 and it is a flab fabulous finish from that man Leon Goretzka, lovely bit of play found Leon Goretzka in the box, a simple finish but the build up to it was simply sublime lovely stuff there, Berardi just finding his teammate Goretzka and that is an ample finish there past the keeper and it is now Barcelona 1 Girona 0, brilliant start to this fixture that is for sure, keeper could have done slightly better in the moment but we do not care whatsoever and neither does Javi Hernandez there very good celebration from himself as he fist bumps the air knowing we are one step closer to the title as we reach the half an hour mark in the first half then looking to create the pressure then Garcia on the ball as he looks to find his teammate Tony Villa now onto Herrera as Herrera charges forward lovely bit of play but Doggy intercepts now onto Kounde now as you can see Ferran Torres picks it up on the left hand side as we look to be able to charge forward now looking for an opportunity to be created here as we've got options but unfortunately we lose the bow unfortunately Herrera picks it up as Alex Garcia now picks it up he looks to be able to offload it to his teammate. Lovely bit of play from Sharona, and they're still in this game. That is for sure. Only a one goal deficit separates them to get in the equaliser as they continue on on the right hand side. Lovely bit of charging forward as he makes it onto his teammate. Real good opportunity, but he passes back for whatever reason, kind of stopping the kind of fluidity and everything else about their play. But they're still in here and a very good chance, but he is actually deemed of offside. So what matters? Nothing. Well, if anything happened, nothing would have mattered in that particular play. That is for sure. And that will be that for that particular attack there as we get the free kick then as Kounde looks to clear his lines into the middle of the park we win the header but unfortunately doesn't really latch onto it straight away as they pick it up again Girona nice in possession they look confident in honesty really hard to get themselves off the ball and it's really difficult to be able to kind of mark them at the same time because they're pushing forward in numbers and they're doing it nicely and quickly as you can see as Alex Garcia picks it up in the middle of the park looking to create something here as he looks to opportunity to his teammate lovely bit of play here and Tony Villa is in here he's only got the keeper to beat but De Stegen makes a really good save there as it goes out for a corner kick and 
Xander Sagan is very happy with that save, that is for sure, as the corner is taken, looking for an opportunity as Arauja clears his lines, only as far out as Tony Villa, but Doggy latches onto it on the left-hand side, lovely bit of play now as we look to be able to go on the charge here, looking for an opportunity as we've only got one defender to skip past as we look to be able to cause some problems here, looking for the shot, but unfortunately nothing will trouble Juan Carlos then, as it will be the save has been created, and that will be the half-time whistle being blown, as it stands we are currently going to be crowned champions of the Liga, and as it stands it's Barcelona 1, Girona 0, not the best of halves from ourselves only a 6.4 rating we had 4 passes in the opponent's halves and we need to up the possession if we were to complete more objectives than we were previously completing as of the moment only one to complete it as we stand as we continue on going to the second half we go as we intercept the ball straight away here looking to create saying as Kounde picks it up onto Gunnhun now onto his teammate Fran Torres Fran Torres now charging forward onto Goretzka lovely bit of play here now onto Berardi now De Jong what this is first touch passing this is phenomenal now Berardi and Juan Carlos makes a very good save then putting out for a corner kick as Gundogan takes no time but to put it straight into the box oh, as you can see it's cleared straight away to De Jong now Gundogan now Berardi Gundogan Berardi again Berardi onto ourselves lovely shot but straight at the keeper then Juan Carlos making a very good save then putting it out to his team at Cavaliera as they look to be able to clear their lines here Girona and look to be able to see if they've gone the attack themselves but they are very safe in their clearance they're passing it about and the keeper clears 66 minutes into the tie Jao Contiello makes a burst on the right hand side but is unsuccessful in his attempt as Juan Carlos plies it out from the back here, Daily Blin picks it up onto Cavalieri as he looks to be able to do something here as he really risky at the same time though but Blin does have to make the clear, it's knowing that it's very difficult to pass around the back and Doggy makes the interception putting it onto Ferran Torres as he looks to be able to do something here, looking for an opportunity, looking to be able to see if we can run into the gap we've done it, if we can do it and we've definitely done it because we find the back of the net to make it 2-0 with 20 minutes left to spare it's Barcelona 2, Girona 0 and we surely should be claiming the title here in this particular fixture with many games to spare and what a way to do it, we've got ourselves a goal and the keeper was well and truly beaten, not even attempting to be able to save the particular shot but we are very happy in our attempt that is for sure, finding the gap to be able to run past the defenders and get the shot off on the right foot keeper had no chance, not even attempting to save it and it's Barcelona 2 Girona 0 and it is only 20 minutes until we are possibly crowned champions of La Liga, what a way to be able to do it in this particular fixture and we are seeming to do it in some sort of style, that is for sure 15 minutes left to play as we look to be able to see this fixture out and being able to defend what we have so far as it looks to be able to do that but De Jong looks to go on the attack here as he finds ourselves looking for an opportunity as we look to be able to play out on the right hand side Berardi now looking to find Xiao Cancelio he does looking for an opportunity now as De Jong De Jong's there but as you can see Goretzka finds it it's Ferran Torres and Ferran Torres seals the deal making it 3-0 for Barcelona in the 80th minute making it pretty much the game set and the match surely as he celebrates with the home fans what a celebration that is what a goal that was also and this is absolutely perfect really good stuff from the boys we have literally done the job so so well with games to spare that's exactly what you want to see I'm very happy that that is the case that is for sure Xavi looking very happy also as we await the full time whistle to be blown any second now in this particular fixture and in the 24-25 season Barcelona have been crowned champions of the Liga for another time in their history and it has been an absolute walk in the park for them in honesty we started the season off a little bit kind of rocky with losing out to Real Sociedad initially but it seems to be that we've been able to come back in the best way possible and we have claimed the title once again in their history really well done and another title added to our name also it's been a mega season for ourselves getting amongst the goals left right and centre there's been no no real difficulty for us whatsoever there's been a few times where we've missed opportunities and don't get me wrong we've had a few times we've had it's been a bad day at the office but overall it seems to be that we've been so so kind of consistent and we've been getting the wins that we needed to get and that is exactly why we've won this season nice and early really good to do it though at the same time and I'm really happy and look at that trophy it looks so so good and we cannot wait to be able to celebrate and it's going to be Berardi the man to lift it the man that's had the captain's armband on all season as he awaits to lift the trophies in front of the Barcelona fans and there we have it Barcelona crown champions of the Liga for another time in their history so happy to see it so happy to be a part of it and it has been a mega season for ourselves to do it for so many games to spare I think that's been the best aspect of it in all honesty knowing that we've had total control over the season and pretty much the time that we have been on the top spot so really nice to see that is for sure and it is another title added to the trophies cabinet that is for certain and I'm just so so happy to to be able to see it 
and we've still got another that we could add to. We've still got a possible Champions League. We are in a semi-final, don't forget. So we've still got another trophy that we could add to the cabinet also and add to the season's honours. This team has been pretty phenomenal in honesty. There's been parts where I've questioned it, don't get me wrong. But overall, they have been so, so good, so consistent. We have scored a lot of goals in our time here at Barcelona. And long may that continue. And as you can see, this team is full of a lot of class and a lot of top, top players. That is for sure. There we have it. Barcelona, crown champions of La Liga and that will be that for the season then and look at the objectives we completed the rating we completed the passing it was only the possession that let us down but we've got the trophy at the end of the day so who cares about the objectives after picking up the Liga trophy, we have another trophy to add to our personal cabinet. And it is another player of the month, April player of the month. I'm pretty sure we've racked up pretty much each and every month, apart from a few here and there. But another to add to the cabinet. And it is a very happy one to collect, to be able to grab, especially after that victory in the Liga, claiming the title. Here we have it though, the final game of the episode and it's going to come in the semi-final against Manchester City then. That's who we will face in the two legs. The first one is going to be at home, a massive tie for us if we are able to kind of create some sort of advantage into the second leg and make it a little bit easier if we were to be able to go into the final. Massive time for us, we've stepped up in the Liga, can we step up in the Champions League and claim the title? If we're able to do so, it'll be a sixth time in Barcelona's history. And this is what we need to complete for ourselves. We need a 7.5 rating. We need to avoid losing the match. And we need two shots on target. Let's waste no time. And let's get into it then. I didn't know what to expect from Man City apart from pure quality and all this thing. We know they're a decent side and they've got some top, top players as you can see on your screen right now. McAtee picks it up as he looks to be able to create something nice and quickly here for Man City as Barella picks it up also looking for an opportunity. Barella hits a shot there but it does go wide and you'd probably be thinking I'm lying if you're saying that's the half-time whistle because it was the most boring half I think I've ever played as a Barcelona player. Nothing happened whatsoever and as you can tell by my rating that is the case. 5.8 rating, we've got the draw so far. But we have had no shots on target. We've had no shots at all. It has been absolutely woeful from a viewing perspective and a playing perspective. And looking at the match facts, we've only had 26% possession. And we've only had one shot on, on goal with 20 pass, 28 passes completed. I mean, that is exactly why I had nothing to show you in the first half. But I'm hoping the second half will be a bit, little bit more enjoyable as a viewing perspective. That is for sure. As we get ourselves stuck in then as Araujo finds Goretzka. Looking for a 1-2 here as Araujo strides forward, finding his teammate for Antores and middle of the park now onto the left as we stride forward then using our pace to be able to beat the city defense here into the box we go as we look for an opportunity Ruben Diaz gets a foot out though and it will be a corner kick play not over just yet as we look to be able to see if we can do something from the corner here corner whipped in by teammate Rafinha lovely corner Doku nods it on and Ferran Torres gets the goal to make it 1-0 for Barcelona and it's that man once again it's now by myself or Ferran Torres getting him onto the goals really unlucky as Doku kind of nodded it on kind of creating the assist for himself on to another player but we will take it that is for sure we've been down and out in the first half not creating anything but as soon as we get straight into the second it seems to be that we've got a goal straight away and that means everything to us as we have that goal now Barcelona 1 Manchester City 0 I was really sceptical coming into this game to be honest and I did not want a repeat of Liverpool where they dominate us in the kind of halves but it seems to be that we've got the total control but now Jao Felix came on for Ran Torres and as we look to be able to see if we can complete something here decent effort but Edison makes a really good save now the chances are flowing and now something has happened as we get to the 72nd minute Man City have been poor in the second half in honesty but from our personal perspective we've created nothing ourselves as Haaland picks the ball up looking for an opportunity but Ndoggy makes the interception now Araujo making a 1-2 of Ndoggy now Jao Felix Felix on the ball as he looks to be able to do something as he finds us in a decent bit of space. Running into the gaps here as we look to offload it to Rafinha. Lovely bit of play. He runs with it further and he nails it into the bottom corner to make it 2-0. And it's that man, the Brazilian, Rafinha. It's Barcelona 2, Manchester City 0. And we look to be carrying a two-goal advantage into the next leg. And what a way to do it also. A lovely assist. We've been down and out for our personal kind of objectives ourselves. Nothing created from ourselves. And it's been very, very poor. They've kept us quiet and honesty. They've done well in terms of marking us and keeping us out the game but they couldn't stop that particular pass and it's Rafinha the man to get on the end of it and it is a brilliant goal into the bottom corner really happy to see him get on the score sheet as it's very rare that he ever gets played but it's Barcelona 2 Manchester City nil, and we have got the advantage going into the second leg with only two minutes left to play of the 90 looking to see the fixture out now as Barella picks it up in the middle of the park City have been absolutely woeful and honestly nothing created by themselves but De Jong makes an interception finding ourselves in a decent bit of space here looking for an opportunity 
opportunity. Surely it can't be free. And yes, it is. It's 3 0. We've beaten Everton for the first time in this particular fixture. And it's Barcelona 3, Manchester City 0. Really, really happy that we've been able to get over the line in such style in this second half, especially, to be honest. We were down and out in the first, but in the second, we've been able to come back. And Javi has kicked his guys into gear, that is for sure. Really happy with the results. Really happy that we've got a free goal advantage going into the particular next leg. And it is Barcelona 3, Manchester City nil. As a full-time whistle has been blown here at Barcelona. And we will carry a free goal advantage into this particular tie in the second leg. Really happy that's going to be the case because it was never going to be an easy game to be able to play out but knowing that we've got such a greater advantage it just makes it that little bit easier and in terms of all the objectives we completed them also we got the rating we avoid losing and we got the two shots on target as you know, we still have some games to spare left in the Liga, but we have won the title. As it stands, we've played 33, won 27, drawn 4 and currently lost 2. We're sitting on 85 points then, 16 points greater than second being Real Madrid. We have definitely won the league in style, that is for sure. We're going to be simulating the rest of the particular fixtures in the Liga. And when it comes to the Champions League fixture, we obviously have a semi-final game to play out with a potential final spot created. But we'll wait to the next episode if that were to happen. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this particular episode please like and subscribe for more content just like this one and don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video cheers